Ladies and gentlemen, as I said, this is your ex-MMA main event of the evening, scheduled for three five-minute rounds at a 160-pound catch weight. This bout is presented by Chain Mine. So I need everybody in the arena, from the rafters to ringside, and those of you tuning in around the world, to get up out of your seats Raise your drinks high and get wild! Interesting first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet three inches tall. He weighed in at 160 pounds. He holds a professional record of 11 wins, three losses. And he fights out of Little Haiti, Miami, Florida. Introducing Luis Violent Bob Ross Pena! And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall. He weighed in at 160 pounds. He holds a professional record of 23 wins, 5 losses, 1 draw. And he fights out of Alpharetta, Georgia. Introducing Ill Will Brooks! Our referee in charge, Jimmy Neely. All right, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the back. I want a good, clean fight. I want you to protect yourselves at all times, obey my commands at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do so now. Back to your corners, ready to fight. All right, a little respect there. And again, the theme of the night interwoven as we see a difference in height, a difference in the fighters and the stature. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. And I'm going to talk about that more in a second. But can I give a quick shout out to Big Mo for nailing that introduction. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Big Mo gets me fired up. I had someone in the comments say that they heard it from the UK. <laughs> yeah, and, and if you guys have been liking this live stream, guys, please subscribe to this channel. You know, hit the notification button. Smash that like button if you enjoyed it. We are here at the main event against two veterans, an ex-Bellator champ, and this fight is going to be insane. Beautiful champ and a, a fighter that just left the UFC. There's one, two fights at Titan FC. Ooh. Will Brooks with the combination snaps back the head of Pena. You know, Pena is huge. Didn't he fight at 145? How yeah, did he's he... 160 now. Yeah. Well, this was at 160, yes. so that he has to be like 180 right, right. now. Right. And look at the legs of Will <laughs> <He's>... Brooks. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. He looks like one of the ring girls' ass. He, right? like he looks an like an NFL player. He looks like Robert Newhouse of the Cowboys back in the day. Exactly. Yeah. And he I'm is. Very Ooh. Nice right hand. And, you know, it's, he, this fight is just, has fireworks written all over it. Absolutely. When you take <laughs> I'm sorry. I was, just like, I, was like, I was like watching. <laughs> when, there, when you have two such high-level strikers, and obviously guys that can get it done on the mat as well, any moment you can have it end. So, I don't know if you guys just saw that, but Luis Pena threw two jabs and Will did an inside slip. Yep. And Luis looked at him and smiled and nodded his head and threw the head kick after those two jabs Ooh. again because he read how Will Brooks was reacting. And, and see how Luis Pena is using that, just pumping his jab out there, making him think about something like the other fighters on the earlier card. They didn't do that, and they didn't use their length. No, you're Luis right. is using his length. He's keeping punches in his face. Yeah, you're right, and he's and he's collecting data. You can yes. see him doing that. He's gauging Will's reaction. I love that Will Brooks is on his toes right now. He's constantly moving in and out. That was a heavy Hell of a body kick. kick. Heavy. Yeah. That turning kick had some smoke on it. Saw that hip exchange, and you watched him wheel it through. That was a beautiful switch jab into the hook. And now Will's going to the wrestle, which as the shorter and clearly thicker fighter, that's probably your best way to win against someone of Luis Pena's height. Oh, that's going to be hard. He's got Luis the crotch Pena, lift yeah. right there. Luis Pena's trying to sprawl. And he's so long that Brooks has got to continue to work on this to get this takedown. Yeah, fun fact too, Will Brooks, his wife, she's a functional medicine doctor. She's a nurse practitioner. He accredits a lot of his health and longevity in the sport to her helping him on his diet and uh, on his supplements. Yeah, I mean, imagine how beneficial it would be for all of us if all of our wives. Well, my, <laughs> wife, my wife is a nurse, and that's why I have it. She's for <laughs> functional medicine, and she keeps me on track. Big nice credit right to her. Hand by Will oh, Brooks. Will coming over there. Yep, and again, repeating it. And listen, Payne did a great job of avoiding that takedown. He was able to get back on his feet right away, and Will Brooks is back grappling now. After grappling, now striking. Yeah, but the thing is that Pena is now keeping Will a little more on his heels, which is going to make it a bit harder to shoot. 
He's starting to read. He's starting to get that timing. Will's going to have to figure out how to put Luis Pena on his heels so that he can initiate his offense a little easier. And how he's going to get in. What's he going to work to get inside to get the power that he needs? Yeah, you're right. And it's hard. It's it's going to be hard. With someone who's collecting data the way that Pena is, he's watching, he's reading, and he's reacting to everything that Will is. So it's going to be up Ooh. to Will to utilize heavy feints, utilize level changes to, to be able to initiate what he wants to get going. Saw a good body shot, Ian. Yeah, this is just so cool to be calling these type of fighters, this caliber of fighters. These are some of the best <laughs> fighters in the world. This is high level, ex-champ. You know, a guy that was in the UFC collecting bonuses. Hey, this what, what I, I saw, just I saw, happened? I saw him grimace. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what that was as Pena goes for that flying knee again. But Will Brooks had a grimace on his yeah, face. Yeah, it looked like he might have rolled his ankle. Or jammed his toe on the cage. I've yeah, done that it's, before. It's his left. No, because it was out here in the center. It's his left foot, and it looked like he rolled his ankle because he I, stumbled a little bit, and he grimaced. Yeah, and I think Pena knows it as well. Well, he did it in his yeah. face. You would <laughs> think he did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he blinked in that moment. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is a don't hard blink, position. Don't miss it. Yeah. This is a hard position to be in if you're Will Brooks with someone with the leg length and the arm length that Pena has. Yeah, I mean you're looking at a guy that's utilizing all his tools and, ooh, and a big high knee. Wow. Twice. That's crazy how high he can throw his knees. <laughs> and right? that's my head height. <laughs> look at Seriously. Pena at his at his arm locked up. And immobile made it tough to defend. Get ready for a bump and an elbow. Oh, nice little nice inside, inside trip. Inside trip. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Goes wow. Wow. Straight into a beautiful pass there. too. He 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 stopped the guillotine by passing over. What's this one? Is pass. this a buggy trick? Oh, right at the end of the round. Wow. What a wow. great round from these two. Sorry, I was right getting confused the by the lady behind us. I know, there's a lady yelling behind us, and she's <laughs> very distracting. <laughs> Watching the replays now, you can see how Will Brooks is really using his explosiveness to try to get in and find the range on his shots. But Payne is doing a great job of keeping just out of range, pulling his face back, using his footwork, and using his reads to be able to get reactions out of Will Brooks. The, the height that he gets on his knees and the ability to get into Brooks with that length is, is amazing. That was beautiful though, how Will Brooks had Penny on the cage and then just uh, disengaged and threw some heavy strikes, two to the body, one to the head. I love that, and then grabbed back on him and clinched him. People don't utilize that enough. No, you're right, because once the clinch breaks, a lot of people tend to just separate, but if you throw straight away, it makes it a lot harder for your opponent to come in and start to engage. Absolutely. Here we go, round two. High level MMA, Will Brooks, Luis Pena, here we go. Well, Will Brooks just ran in, so I'm gonna hazard a guess and say whatever happened in the last round. Ooh, big body kick. Yeah. He's Smack. feeling all right. Then he came back to the upper thigh too. And you look at look at the size, you, you pointed it out, Brooks' legs are massive. They're so big. They're twice the thickness of Pena's, but also Pena's twice the height. Yeah, so then we, I mean, we have Pena, I think he's up first round, you know, obviously with that takedown and and uh, I think the people on the live stream agree. Br Brooks had, had his hands down at his waist, enticing Pena to come in. Really, very much a chest match. Nice body There's kick. That body kick. That was a good oh, catch. Oh, look at he's Will Brooks smiling. smiling. At him. He's, he's having a nice fun. job. Ooh, nice right hand. You see how he's entering w with the taller guy? This is high level stuff. He's using, he's throwing like a triple jab. Closing the distance, throwing that right hand. Look, they're playing with each yes. other now. It's a this, cat and mouse game This for is sure. the experience showing that they're able to do that. And it's not arrogance. It's it's experience, it's control, it's confidence in your ability. Oh, look still, at that slip. Oh, and then he comes back with an overhand right. That would graze Pena. You can see Pena, he kind of frowned oh. a little bit after that because he missed all his punches then. Yep. Yeah, and then ate was... one in return. Ooh, oh, comes up with a big knee. knee. Almost got him. I think it hit his chest. Yeah, yeah. Because that would have probably put him out. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> that was a big That was a great That was insane. I would like to see Brooks throw a few more leg kicks. I think his leg kicks are so heavy, he could really do some Ooh, definitive nice damage. nice jab. Great jab by Kind of wobbled Pena. his knees, buckled him. And sometimes that jab, you don't give credit for what it is. With four ounce gloves, that jab could get your well, attention. Well, we saw that earlier in the night. The jab dropped that guy. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> that guy, man. Yeah. yeah, you know that one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> you know what? 
Right now, Will is standing right in front of Pena. I would like to see him use a little more lateral footwork, but he obviously relies on his head movement. He's yeah. very confident with his head movement, but you also got to understand that the longer you stand in front of someone, no matter how good your head movement is, the more of a target you are. There's that heavy leg again to the midsection. And Damn, that was the crowd Pena, is ruthless Pena knew tonight. It. Pena knew it right away. Kick to the groin. He yeah. knew it right away. Yeah. Nodded. And, and all respect, right? You know, he saw he kicked him in the groin, and he, he didn't go in for the kill right no. there. And, and, the, and the ref saw it. So yep. it's good. We've had a few groin kicks tonight, but I, I think he's he's fine. He's going back. Yep. Let's go. Boy, some of these fans are ruthless. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, got, we got some I wild. I mean, the crowd, the crowd yeah, is, yeah, we got some crowds. The crowd's enjoying this guy. Hey, they're still serving their cervezas. Yeah. yeah. I really love how explosively Will Brooks comes in with those strikes. In, in both. Look at that. He shows himself and then goes. Yeah. Oh, that was, he faked the uppercut through the rear kick. And Will, oh, oh, look at that head just kick. Just missed. Wow. Just missed. Will, Will switched his stance. Beautiful and shot. Switched wow. After those kicks. Takes out right switched in front of us. Gets the takedown. Yeah, but look, he's going for this buggy choke again. This is twice. This is where round one ended at the bell, was with Pena trying to lock up right. this buggy choke. This is very unorthodox. It is. And Yo, he's and he's so long. He's so long. Yeah, there you go. Will needs to get his hand there. Frame. He put he pressure to pull on his head his, out. Try to create to space. He's, using, he's trying to use that right hand and if he needs to, to, to he can slam him. He looks like his head's starting to come out, but Pena's tightening it as he's going. If he, there you go. There he's you out. go. Now he's going to kick off and the cage. And he's out, but he needs well, to make sure he doesn't get back oh, in he it. Went, he yeah. slipped right back you know into what? it. And that's the danger with not controlling the upper body a little bit more. And you see Will Brooks holding his hand, holding his head steady. Yeah, just kind of relax and breathe yep. in here. He needs to get that frame, though, again. Create the space. There you he go. has his and toes Pena's, all up in the cage. The I don't know care. if he realizes that Payne is letting it go. I don't know if he can feel that, but that was his opportunity to get out of this position. Yeah, absolutely. He's, he's being calm, and you see the official just knocked Payne's hands off of the cage. Will now got out of it because Payne had to let loose of that. Patience. Look at it. Elbow by Will. Short elbow. There's another one that's a little more strength to it, a little more pop. You know, Will looks very heavy on top, but Payne is doing a good job of getting his legs in, getting his knees back in. Now he cleared the position. He's in a much better position now. He's got his feet away from the cage, his neck pressed against it. Now he's finding those elbows. Yeah, and he hit, he hit a couple of those elbows to his short right hand as well. Yeah, Pena, this, this is good work. Away. He's posturing up, looking to get a big elbow here. This is a great way to finish the round for Will Brooks. Absolutely. Two takedowns, one takedown in the last fight, in the last round, one takedown in this one. Beautiful pick up and dump. Still and now, 30 seconds left in this fight, 21 seconds now. This is going to be a hard fight to score. It's so awkward when you see his length and what he's able to do, Pena I'm talking about. Now he's got the butterflies oh, in right here. Not the short guy? Yeah, not the short guy. <laughs> The short, powerful, big thigh guy. Yeah. Finish it. Finish it. Wow, now he's going to attack the leg. See, that's the thing about Payne is he's, even though he's on his back, he does not stop attacking submissions. What you know, an amazing round for Will Brooks. He, I believe he, he dominated that. It was back and forth striking. They were taunting each other. They were messing, they, you know, they, they were showing their skills, putting their hands down, trying to draw each other in. But in the end, Will Brooks got the takedown and finished dominantly. And you get the nod. I mean, you, you see when you're playing chess against such a high-level opponent, when they get the kudos, when they give them that nod and the respect you have for your opponent. Yeah, well, there's definitely mutual respect between the guys. This is a huge round, right? I don't know how to score this so far. I would say first one's Pena, second round's Will Brooks. This is anyone's fight. I mean, it. Here we go. Yeah, this is a fight that, hey, you maybe want to see five rounds. It's a yeah. three-round fight. But I was honestly hoping it was yeah, five yeah, rounds. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> I know. And unfortunately, it's the last fight of the night. I mean, the card has been outstanding. All right, here we go. They both know they need to do something. This fight could go either way. There you go, Will, with his hands down, doing the taunting. Kind of going that karate style. Maybe he saw and hung out with Wonder Boy Thompson last night. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks a little bit like Wonder Boy. <laughs> <laughs> but 
What, just Will the Brooks movement. Says, that, that Will move, Brooks looks movement. like Wonder Boy? Not, not looks like, like movement wise. <laughs> one's tall movement and skinny, like, the other one's short hey, and stocky. Ooh, just missed that elbow. Bounced and then his back position. Will's going to get this dump again. Look how hard it is for him to lift because Pena is so, so long. long. <laughs> yeah. That's why he made the right decision in that last round by attacking the legs instead of attacking the body with the takedown. You gotta, he's got to go violent Bob Ross right now. I mean, this, this fight is so close. He's got to do something to get the pressure and to get ill will off him. I honestly think we could be one and one right now. I don't know how they're going to score the takedown at the end of round one. He did get a takedown right into a submission attempt as the bell rang. So we could be one and one. You know, I think both of these guys need to do something massive to really swing the judging in their favor. Yeah, Pena, well, and we saw a controversial split decision already tonight. Well, Pena, Pena, oh, nice job by Will Brooks, Brooks turning it around. Out. Yep. Has the head position right here. I think he should disengage and keep striking, but he could find the takedown. It's just so hard on a lanky guy to try. Ooh, nice oh, nice knee. Nice chin that came, that knee just buckled his chin. You think Will should disengage and go back to the striking? I mean, he could. It's just, it's just, or at least set up a, a takedown where he yeah. can hit the legs because he's losing these positions against the cage because it's just so hard on such a lanky guy. No, you're absolutely right. And his timing on those lower level takedowns off the strikes Incredible. is so beautiful. Oh, Will with the nice left elbow that came up that connected with Pena. Pena Pena's going to push off the cage back. and try to pull him to the ground. Will could not afford to hit the ground no. with him on his back. No, and oh, with he's high. Hooks in. Oh, this is huge for Pena. He's got he's that he's the under the win. He's going for that short choke and starting to lock up the rear naked. He's got both hooks in now. Will. Will let it. <laughs> I don't think Will did anything. I think no. Luis let that Switched. go so that he could get back on top. And now he's in a dominant top top half guard position. Let's see how good Will, Will is at getting up off the bottom. Up. Yeah, he's got to get up from that cage. And he has a sense of, of urgency. He immediately goes and, and leans up on the cage. Now he's back to his feet. He cannot lose his back position. Pena's got one hook in. He has to shake him off here. Brooks doing everything he can right now. Yeah, it looks like Pena has a, has a rash on him. You know, Pena keeps getting the same position over and over again. And Will really doesn't seem to have much of an answer for it right now. And look at the, got the body lock on. He's got, and just all, he's like a spider. Yeah, he really is. I mean, it's near impossible to get someone off you when their legs are wrapping up your entire leg like that. But Will's staying really patient. He's making sure that Pena can't get around, can't get around his throat again. Absolutely. And yeah. he's trying to grind him off using the cage. But you're wondering as the clock tick, ticks down where the judges' minds are at, what they're seeing in this fight with both these fighters. Maybe 1-1 one, one going in. Yeah, Will has to do something right here. But I mean, Pena just keeps wrapping that triangle. He's just a backpack on him right now that he can't get off. He's gonna have to do something big to clear this position and get back and finish this round And strong. Pena right now is comfortable in that position, wrapping up Will. He needs to shake right here. Shake yeah. there. There he is. did. Wow. He shook it down. Good job, Coach. I know, Coach right? Ian. Coach Ian. <laughs> now, but now he's got to do something with it. A sense of urgency and score with some ground. Yeah, well, well, he has a minute, Todd, so I think he's going to uh, control position, not do anything too drastic to lose position, and then just go on a big flurry in probably the last 20 to 15 20, seconds. 15 yeah, do you, seconds. do you think that's enough to win Will yeah, the fight? That's, that's um, the question. I, yeah. You know, um, I don't know. Because it's an odd fight to score. Yeah, you're exactly it's right. It's back and forth. Like, it could almost be a draw. Pena's had do some damage, though. If Pena almost submits Looking him. for the arm bar. Couldn't fight. Couldn't get it. Pena's really putting that blue belt in jiu-jitsu to good use. 30 seconds left in this main event fight between Ill Will Brooks and Violent Bob Ross, Luis Pena. Our main event at XMMA 5. What an amazing night of fights it's been. And what amazing main event to close out the night. Ten. 15 seconds left by the clock. We heard the clacker, here, however. Here yeah. we go. Here we go. Big flurry here. Will Brooks ends up on top of the fight in this main event. There it is. Wow. Man, we needed five rounds. I think that should have been five rounds. We needed five rounds. Next MMA, let's do five round uh, main event. I let's think that's do it. only, I believe, only the third fight that went the distance tonight. Yeah, we had all finishes outside of that. What a great main event. What a great main event.
when you're watching these two different style fighters, it's unreal. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. And this really was, initially I thought it was going to be a case of someone with great wrestling versus someone with great striking. But we saw Pena really put his apparent blue belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu to good use tonight. He, he kept getting the body triangle, kept taking the back. He almost submitted Will Brooks many times. Rear naked choke. He, I think there was four different buggy choke attempts. And, and you know what? Like, I'm so happy with that main event. What a great matchup. High level defense by Will Brooks because most would have been finished. You're 100% right. And that, that's the thing, like, you have to give Will Brooks credit as well because they, Pena had those buggy chokes on right in front of us here at the commentary booth and Will stayed calm and he stayed patient and he worked himself out of those positions methodically. And both of these fighters know what kind of fight that was. We just saw them embrace in the middle of the cage and give you the main event that you expected from these guys. And really, to be honest, with, with Will, his hands down, the speed he showed, despite the length of Luis Pena, was impressive to me. Yeah, you're right. At first I was like, oh, you know what? This is a little risky to do against someone with a definitive reach advantage, someone who is a great striker, but I think in a lot of ways it paid off. Well, the numbers have been added and tabulated. Big Mo is looking at the paper. Let's get it up to Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, after three full rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Judge Montanabis scores about 29 to 28, Pena. Yeah. Judge Brown scores about 29 to 28, Brooks. Yeah. And Judge Masargin scores about 29 to 28, declaring your winner by split decision. Ill Will Brooks! Wow. <laughs> hey, that fight is close as we thought it was. Yeah, you know, I, could, I couldn't score it. <laughs> what an incredible main event. Well done, XMMA. Will, Will, man, you are a legend of this sport, brother. It's so good to see you have such an amazing performance. It was an honor to call it. How did you feel coming back and obviously getting a win in this cage? Man, it felt amazing. You know, I think XMMA for what they're doing, man, yeah. to only have five cards that they put together, they've been so professional from top to bottom. I want to give a little shout out to Jordan. Hey, my man's Jordan. Jordan, put your hand up. The matchmaker Jordan, he ain't even paying attention. Hey, pay attention to me. I'm giving you love. <laughs> but this guy, like, from day one when I was looking for a fight, it hasn't been easy to match me up with good opponents competitive fights with this guy at every step of the way he's been in contact with me just working his ass off to get me a fight like this one something to test me push me to the limit and that was amazing yeah I mean this was such a high level MMA fight Luis Pena put you kind of in a weird lock like I, I mean that's super unorthodox how did you feel in that position a fucking boogie choke you don't really I've never seen anybody really do it and have <laughs> uh, intentions on choking you with it I've seen a lot of guys do it to neutralize you and make the ref stand you up, but he was legit trying to put my lights out with that thing. And it was uncomfortable, it was awkward. I couldn't figure out how to turn my body, but it was slick, man, he almost had me. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Will, I know you have huge accolades in your future to do big things and end your career on top. What's in the future for Will Brooks? I'm one of the best fucking lightweights to ever fucking do this. I've been humble for the last few months. I've been trying to say the right things, being humble, I've allowed motherfuckers to alter my ego or move me in a direction that they feel like is correct. I'm a bad motherfucker, bro. And when I come in here on a full training camp and I'm at my best, I'm hard to deal with. I did this on three weeks notice. I came home from vacation from Florida, drinking beers and eating potato chips all fucking weekend. And I came out here, I took the phone call, signed the contract, came out here to get a fucking W. I'm one of the best and I deserve to be back in the UFC Give me my fucking second chance, boy. Well, there you guys heard it. Will Brooks, ladies and gentlemen, that's your main event. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Listen, Jesse, when you take a fight on three weeks' notice, you can have that bravado. You can have that chest puffed out because he knows how big a victory that was, and that will open some eyes. You know what? And he knows how great he really is. He's had amazing opportunities, and he really is fighting to get back to the big show.